the angular framework is written on top of typescript it means all the concepts from typescript are applicable in angular there is one very important concept in typescript that is getter and setter in this video we will understand why we need the getter and setter and how can we use it in the angular application before implementing the concept of getter and setter let's understand this concept in this application we are working in this bookstore application and this application is running on localhost 4200 if i click on this old book space we are getting an error first let's resolve this error because we have made some changes in last couple of videos and because of that we are getting this error so it is saying no provider for counter to service so let's fix this one here we are app shared services this is the counter to and over here i'm going to use the provided in root this time you will see it is working fine on this old book space we are displaying all the books we are getting this data from a service and with the help of component we are displaying it on a particular page and as you know that we are getting this hard coded data from the service now let's say i want to make some changes in this code for example first let's open this old books component page so we here we are this is the html page and this is the typescript page over here we are getting this particular data this is the books variable it is a type of book model and this book model is basically an interface and we are binding this entire data on this old books page and by using this ng4 directive we are just looping through all the books and we are displaying it at this place you will notice that i have written this hard coded author over here let's say i do not want to put it hard coded over here i want to get all this logic from the model so if i'm using this book dot author property then i should get author this colon and then the name of that author in real if there is no author then at that time i want to display no author over here but the author text should be there so there are two ways to handle the situation the first one is just like we have done over here i can simply use a ternary operator at this place and if the author is available then i can write its name if it is not there then i can return some other name but let's assume that i have to write this type of code at multiple places in this application then i have to repeat this similar code everywhere but with the help of getter and setter properties we can make the change at only one single place let's see how can we do that for this let's go to this old books component page and this is the book model that we are using over here i am going to make some changes as of now you can see we are using this interface and since interface cannot have the implementation that is the body of anything so first of all we have to convert it to a class like this and then let's just remove this comma and put a semicolon over here so here i'm writing comma to the semicolon there we go and over here i have to provide the access modifier so let's say i'm passing the public again over here we are getting some error let's see what is the error so if i hover my mouse over here you will see the property title has no initializer and it is not definitely assigned in the constructor so it is saying that this property has not been assigned there are couple of ways to handle the situation the first one is we can assign the values directly let's say it is zero or it is undefined like this or not only undefined i can also pass some values like this this is the first approach the second approach is that over here i can pass this undefined like this it will work here as well this is the second approach the third approach is that we can use the constructor and we can initialize these properties so let's just revert all the changes like this and here i can create a new constructor over here i can create the constructor and in this constructor i can initialize these properties so let's say here i'm writing this dot id is equals to 0 and you will see that this red line has gone from this id property similarly i can work on this title property let's do that as well so this dot title is equals to 
let's say this is the default value this is also one of the approach if you will work with the earlier version of the TypeScript then it was not required but in the latest version of the TypeScript there is an strict mode that you have to initialize the properties while you are declaring it or in the constructor of the class okay let's say I do not want to do all these things so we have to make some changes in the settings of the TypeScript file so for that let's say I'm just removing it so we are getting this error over here if you will just collapse all the files and go to this tsconfig.json file over here we are having this compiler options and in this compiler options we have to add a new property you can put it anywhere in this compiler options so let's say here at the end I'm putting this property strict property initialization and let's make its value to false just save the changes immediately you will notice that the red line from this model is gone there is no need to initialize this property so you can use any one of the approach in your application if you are making the changes in the tsconfig file it means the changes will be applicable to your entire application now we were talking about the getter and setter properties in the typescript okay so here let's say i want to apply some logic on this author property so first of all we have to make this particular property as private and just update its name because we will use this author again over here as a public property so let's say over here I'm putting an underscore it is not required to put the underscore you can give it any other meaningful name and here let's get one public author property again so this is the author property remember we are going to make it as a getter and setter it means we will set the values in this property we will apply some logic and we will return it back and we also need to create a getter property to get its value if you want to use the get and set you have to use two keywords first is get and second is set very simple so here I'm making a set property so let's use public set author and we have to add the parenthesis in this parenthesis we have to pass a value so let's say the type of value is a string like this and over here we have to create a body in this body we can write our logic so this is the actual value that we will get from the API or some other place and we can manipulate this value over here so what I'm doing over here in the setter property we can apply our logic if it is required and then we can assign its value to this author property how can we do that so I'm writing it this dot author is equals to value that's it so first let's understand the basic version so this is the setter property and to work with the getter property I can write this code again public get author and over here I have to use return and what is the name of my private property that is this author that's it after making these changes you will notice that we are getting an error in the book service we are getting this error over here that's because it is saying that this author is not declared over here just to handle the situation here I'm writing this any let's go back to the all books component here we are now here we are basically assigning this data directly in this this dot books variable this will not call getter and setter now just to verify it if I go to the browser here you will see we are getting this data this is because we are not making any change in the setter property so let's say over here in the setter property if I'm making a change let's say here I'm writing author like this save the changes go back to the browser just refresh this page this time you will notice that again there is no change in this author property here we are appending the author but here on the browser there is no change to handle the situation we have to make the instance of this particular model class and we can do that easily over here so here let's say let's just remove this this dot books and I'm assigning this data in some other variable let's say it is books or here I'm writing all books okay now here I have to apply an for each loop on this all books dot for each and in this for each I can pass like this here I have to create a new object how I'm writing where obj is equals to new book model 
and in this book model i can assign all those properties how obj dot id is equals to b dot id and once we will be done with the assignment then we can push it in this books array so here i can do that this dot books dot push and this obj just save all the changes and this time let's go back to the browser here you will notice that we are getting this text so this one is hard coded but this one is coming from that assignment so if in this model i want to update it let's say i'm writing it mmm save the changes you will notice that we are getting this word everywhere before the author name so this is how we can work with the getter and setter so let's go with the author and from this all components this time i can remove this particular thing and i can only have this book dot author so basically this is making our code very simple and here we are having everything that was required now this is the concept of getter and setter that you can use in the class let's see how can we do the same thing in the component so in the component class let's say here i'm having one private property that is the page title and let's say its type is a string and here i can create one getter and setter method so i can just to make the set method i can use public page title and this dot page title is equals to whatever value we will get over here so i'm assigning this value just for the better understanding i can make it public and here let's update this name properly and make it t in the caps okay let's make one getter property as well so here i'm having this get and return this page title remove this value from here this parameter as well that's it now let's say i want to use this page title on this particular all books component so over here on top of everything instead of having this books this time i want to use this page title remember we cannot use this property on the html page because this is a private one if you want to use a property on your html page then it must be public and we can set this value over here in the ng on init method how can we do that so we are writing this dot page title is equals to all books save the changes let's go back to the browser on the books page scroll up you will see we are getting this all books so this is how you can use the getter and setter property in the model and in the component class